There are three different attacks that can consistently get a two shot on almost every single district in the clan capital. And I want to show you what those are today. In my last clan capital video, we talked about how the battle rams and the graveyard spells are so powerful together and i want to explain why and then we can look at other strategies and explain how to use those mechanics to customize your army to actually take down a couple different styles of bases so let's go ahead and attack the base here and i'll show you the basics of how this functions the first thing we want to do is get these graveyard spells to spawn the trigger that causes them to spawn is troops dying on the field so if you can get some troops to go out there some cheap troops and get them to sacrifice early and start the graveyards to spawn near where you're going to and covering some of the big defenses then you can give so much cover that your army basically becomes invincible so what we want to do is throw down the graveyard spells near where we're deploying and we want to go after the big splash damage defenses so we're going after after blast bows, big cannons, we're going after multi-mortars, we're going after rockets, single infernos, all the big heavy defenses is what we're primarily aiming after. Then, once we have those down, we need to get them spawning. So we send in a couple of sacrificial troops here, and we just try to get them moving. As soon as we have a couple down, then we can throw in some giants, some super wizards. The exact ratios of whatever you want to do with the super wizards and the giants isn't super particular, but I like to have a couple of tanky troops there, and then go kind of heavier with the super wizards than you do with the others but if you have the super wizards getting targeted where make sure you give them a little bit of an additional protection there and get them through so then once we move forward here we're just trying to get these these battle ramps to not only sacrifice and open up the walls while getting the graveyard spells to spawn but we're also getting them to go out in front and distract defenses spawn additional barbarians to get in front of the super wizards and also trigger traps in the area so that we don't have our main force our super wizards actually getting hit by the traps here if we can get maybe 30 to 40 percent usually 40 percent on the first attack here is going to be successful because if i can get that on the first attack then we know that we will have the graveyard spells for the second attack and we can easily clear it on that one so let's go hit it again let's take it down so now these graveyard spells are still active i need to get some down on the next one so we're gonna go one up here i'll put this one right between the two cannons i'll put one up by the blast bows and then i'll throw one over to this corner just to give a little bit of support out there because i got plenty across the top of the base here so once again we just need to get some spawning so i'll just throw those in wherever it doesn't really need to go to any specific spot then i'll throw down some giants i'll throw down some super wizards and we'll start to make our way forward no real thought being put into it other than just making sure i got super wizards in generally the right locations and i have plenty of spawning going out in front of me so i can throw this skeleton or this uh, extra lightning spell if you have the additional spell slot there then it's great like this does work with i think most effectively when you have six spell slots unlocked there because you get plenty of coverage and i like to have a couple extra barbarians in the mix as well just to make sure you can get these random like uh huts out here just cleared and just get them out of the way there just uh E easy push like look look how effortless this is like that is so easy this blast bow give me a little bit of trouble there with this with this uh wizard tower next to it but there's so many troops coming in look how many we have left over like not only are you clearing these bases in two shots but in addition to that you're getting the base taken down with a lot of spare troops so you're getting a bonus on top of that and so you're you're making out double you're you're just absolutely leveling bases getting all the loot plus bonus loot and then having those attacks be able to go in and take out additional districts so if you can get three districts down per account then you basically are going to rank really really high and you're going to get a huge amount of raids done every weekend and you can even because of how fast you drop the troops here you can throw them all in and then you could literally force quit the game and it'll continue on as soon as you have all the troops dropped and since you dropped them in so rapidly at the beginning you could get them all done within a few minutes on each account so it makes it really easy let's do it again here on golem query 
to show you how consistent this is. So I'll throw in a couple of Barbarians here just to start to clear out some of the trash. Now we're going after the biggest defenses. So let's make sure we get the rockets, the blast bow covered, and then we need some cover over to the right side, specifically for the multi mortar over here. So let's make sure we get some coverage on that. So the Barbarians are just clearing out just a little bit here. Then we will go dead, go ahead and throw down one, two, and three. And then we just need some sacrificial troops. We'll throw down a bunch of battle rams. They can start to make their way forward. Forward. as soon as they start to die then we can throw down giants and super wizards kind of sprinkle them around wherever i'm just throwing a little bit on your side but you got to get the barbarians to go in and sacrifice first that is very very important here to make sure that you have a chance to pull through now we got the wizards not gonna die to any individual traps anywhere because these barbarians have already cleared all the traps up ahead so we are just cleaning house all the way through the base here and i'm already reaching that 30% here, if I can climb a little bit higher up to 40% and get out a couple of these big defenses, then there's really nothing that'll stop this into the backside. And I do really think that like Golem Query and a couple of those uh, lower ones that don't have like defensive dragons are some of the easier ones to take out. Now, the more difficult ones to take out are like the Dragon Cliffs and the Barbarian Camp and then of course the Capital Peak itself. So if we can just get the two shots on these, then we can put a little bit more thought into those ones there and I'll show you some different strategies on how to take those down in just a moment. But let's go ahead and finish this one off. Next attack here, we'll throw down a graveyard onto the rockets up here. We'll throw one down right in the middle of these big defenses and then one over to the rockets on this side. Now we just need to throw down the Battle Rams in each of those different positions, get some Barbarian spawning and then we can throw a giant onto each side and then sprinkle in a couple of these super wizards And then we can just continue to make oh we got some other stuff going on over here We got some graveyards still going in that area So I'm just gonna toss in these additional battle rams and where do I want to put this lightning? I'll throw it up there see if I can hit that backside rocket, but like we're doing pretty solid here There's so much distraction these blast posts are completely shut down and we're not gonna have any resistance into the Oh, maybe we will on this bottom one. I don't know. This one gonna give me any trouble here get into it a little extra force into that area I got a couple extra dudes but look how many are going up here like that area is getting completely overwhelmed i think even if we just hold on to one of these battle rams to distract that that blast bow for when we go into that approach there like we're gonna be fine like we got all these skeletons coming in from the right side as well like we're doing fine let's go ahead and throw it in now and see if i can get some distraction get some barbarian spawn they'll start to run that direction if i can get some coverage in that area like we're gonna be fine but like I got so many troops running around that will just overwhelm it regardless. And that's the beauty of this attack here is even if you end up messing it up, you're still going to get at least a three shot. And so like as mindless and easy as it is, you can screw it all up and then you can still end up at a minimum getting the three shot, which is still easily better than any other strategy that you could have. So let's go move on to a different strategy and I'll show you how to do the hog version of this. One of the bases that people struggle to get the two shot on is the Barbarian Camp. The two shot here is difficult because you have so many big heavy splash damage defenses. But if we get some stuns on those defenses by using Hog Riders, then we can overwhelm them and we can actually do better than the Super Wizard version. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this attack here. Now, I want to make sure that my initial entry position, like on this base here, we have just like multi mortars and stuff down here and cannons and random stuff but i'm not hitting any of the big big hitter defenses like up here so i kind of want to push over to the side and i want to attack from that edge of the base there as my priority so i got 13 of these battle rams as you can see behind our little class champ spinner and then i got 11 of these hog riders and the amount of trash that you need to clear to get to your initial deployment position will vary and you can adjust your army as necessary make sure you can actually get to where you want to go if you need to bring some archers if you want to bring like a for dragon or whatever you need to do to push over to that area make sure that you bring enough to actually get into it so i'll go ahead and throw that down there and we'll continue to push through with some barbarians and i have a little bit of time to work with here like i'm not in a big rush I just want to push into this other corner of the base and then I want to make sure that I have my deployment zone where I want it so I can actually get into this area and get early access and a smooth line across that area of the base there for the hogs to start to make their way in. So that seems to be pretty decent right there. So we'll go ahead and throw down Skeleton Spell, Skeleton Spell, and Skeleton Spell and then we'll now go in with the spawners, get some of those dudes out in front and then we'll sprinkle in the hogs down behind. 
and we'll just kind of push her. I'm going to concentrate a little bit heavier onto the top side here. But as soon as we get those skeletons spawning and the hogs start arriving and stunning the defenses, we're in a really, really strong position here. Like, we're not getting my deployment zone open up too much over there, which is kind of annoying, but we're doing fine overall. I can just keep these rockets and these giant cannons distracted. We're going to be in a pretty strong position here, but... The, the big advantage of these hogs moving so quickly and then getting the stuns on top of that. Don't just spam them all in. Make sure they're actually targeting individual defenses and not just broadsiding into the base there and missing half of their primary targets, right? Like, you don't want to... You want to make sure that you're actually getting stuns and they're not... You're not having two hogs going after the same defense. I guess that's what I'm trying to say there. But looks like we got 54% on this one here. Maybe we can just chill for just a second and see if we get some of these... Uh, giants down, so now chasing down our hogs a little bit later. Might as well take advantage of that, right? And then, our next attack, we'll try to finish off the base. So look at the base here. We already have skeletons spawned over here, so we're doing good in that section. We just need to make sure we lock down, like, let's say, the multi-mortar, the rocket, and the big cannon there. I think those are our secondary targets, and we'll go see if we can make it happen now. Let's see if we can get these, uh, annoying random things out here out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and throw down Boom, boom, and boom. Get that whole area of the base there under control. Then we'll throw down our sacrificial troops. And then we can start to sprinkle in the hogs. Make sure we get these heaviest hitting defenses out of the way first. Sprinkle them in. I'm trying to get onto the back side a little bit as well. Make sure we're getting over where the skeletons are spawning. Like overall, we're looking pretty solid. I'll go and throw in a little bit of lightning right there because why not? Even get a spawn on, or a stun on that bomb tower. Can we get on the double cannon here? We'll try. Yep, there we go. Got it. Our giant cannon, whatever it's called. And then we'll get another one onto the rockets. Right there. Oh, that missed. <laughs> we got more. All right, we got, we got it. We got it. <laughs> this is easy. All right, there we go, guys. Like, look how overkill that is. That is a two-shot hog rider graveyard spell. Definitely a very, very cool variation and very good at taking out not only the barbarian camp, but also it does the... What is it called? The uh, Wizard Valley really well. The Dragon Cliffs is easily the most difficult district to two-shot. Because there's so many Super Dragons on defense, you basically have to go in with some kind of an air attack that can actually target them and take them down. We can go in with the Inferno Dragons and Skeleton Barrels, which will achieve the same function as the Battle Rams did in the previous attacks, where we just use them to generate some deaths, and then ultimately generate some spawns of these graveyard spells to give us cover, and then the Inferno Dragons are doing the same function as the Super Wizards and the Hogs were. Let's just go ahead and throw down one, two, three, and then we'll throw down these bad boys with some dragons behind them, and we'll start to make our way forward here. So let's uh, try to get these skeleton barrels to go to the right spot, right? Get the base open up a little bit here. All right, so we got plenty of distraction up forward there. I'm not too worried about that. Let's get these walls open. A oh, weird how things are pathing to the base here, but I want to use lightning to hit the dragons here whenever possible. We're gonna get another wall open here, expand that deployment zone a little bit further forward. And I do try to delay throwing down these barbarians before I throw down the rest because you can see how many ground skeletons were spawned as a result of these barbarians being dropped. Because if you didn't know, the so the graveyard spells actually spawn based on what dies. So if air troops die, then it spawns air troops. If ground troops die, it spawns ground troops. But it looks like we still were able to pick off over 50% of the base here. So maybe we can get the two shot in this one here. Like, it's possible. It's never easy. But we have a chance here. And I feel like we should, uh, we should go for it. I, I kind of want to attack on the side of the base that has the bulk of the super dragons here. Let's open up the bottom of the base here. That is going to cause my... Oh, you know what? Actually, the wall, the, the barbarians dying is what causes the skeletal spawn, not the actual battle ram dropping. So let's go ahead and drop in one, two, and three. And then we'll get some spawners out here. Nice spread. Get these Inferno Dragons down. See if we can lock onto these Super Dragons nice and early. We'll use Rocket Blues to go pick up some of these... Uh, defenses that I can target directly and look how many skeletons we have here. Like, we're just completely overwhelming this. Okay, let's go ahead and throw down. Let's go see if I can... Yeah, I'm gonna put my zone over here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, what do I do? Where do I put stuff? 
Let's throw it up there. Let's throw in some lightning onto that uh, air bombs right there. And if I can get access to that air bombs, then I can stop a lot of other troops from dying here. I'm going to try to go for it. Now, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, come on, just get something into the air bombs to protect that Inferno Dragon. Like, we are so close to the two-shot here. I think we might actually end up picking it off. So that's cool. Um, got one more air bomb. So it's just being annoying. If I can get some barbarians to go right there and go after it. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. We got the two-shot. Now, that's the cool thing about this strategy is it can deal with the Super Dragons. And it will consistently get the three shot. But when you can get the two shot, it is really satisfying. So there we go, guys. Three armies that can take out any district in two shot. And we just proved it. Now, before I send you off, I want to give you one more tip here for the Capital Peak. If you do attack a high enough level Capital Peak that they have a Super Dragon post, make sure that you deal with that Super Dragon with an attack that can actually take it down. So on the attack that you would actually be approaching the Super Dragon post, maybe think about throwing down a Inferno Dragon and Skeleton Barrel attack instead of the ground version until you actually take that out. Then switch over to the ground version for the future attacks. But you should be able to get down using these strategies in three attacks there pretty effortlessly.